It's a brand new season. Yeah. And there's so much to do. We want to always catch up, always hit home runs. But that's not how it happens, at least not for us. This is reality. We're going to show you what really happens, good or bad, rain or shine. This is our home. This is Erie, Erie Extreme. I'm Hannah, and you're watching Erie Extreme. Hey, Nate. Hey, Dave. What's going on? You got the challenge for us? All right, hang on a second. Um, talk to John. Dave, I've got this coolest thing that you just have to hear about. We're working on this website for a client, and we have to move all the data from the old version of their website onto the new version. So I'm going to put a PHP script together. It's going to be a polymorphic hierarchy. It's going to pipe into an XML file, and then I'm going to shoot that up into the cloud, and the cloud is going to connect to the back end, and I'm going to be able to put it. Oh, oh, here's an A. Hold on. It's really cool. Bye. Hey, so this database connection solves all of our problems. It's really awesome. So basically, hey, Nate. Yes. You got a challenge for us? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> so actually, this week we're going to combine several challenges that we've received into one mega challenge. 99% of the ones we received were positive, but we managed to find a couple haters for you this time. The first challenge was submitted by Andy from Carlisle, PA. Andy challenges you to catch your own bait armed with only a rod, reel, and hook. Then catch a keeper bass using that bait and the same hook. Challenge two comes to you from Jay from Russell, PA. Jay challenges you to get someone who doesn't act like a stupid bubba to be the star. What? He thinks you host the show. Oh. Challenge three comes from Jason in Cranesville, PA. Jason challenges you to go through an entire show without making any lame jokes. Sounds good. And finally, a local doctor, Joe Leone, says if you beat all these challenges, Terry will have to come into his office for a prostate exam. <laughs> There's no time limit for this one. So that should make a We Create Extreme Challenge should you choose to accept it. Good luck. And for some reason, I really hope you complete this one. See ya. We'll just have Danny do it. Or you. Host the show. And I think it means the host can't say any lame jokes. I want to host a show. Can no. Host the show? He's specific, He'll it's do it. you that can't make the lame jokes. Okay, so we find another host. I don't make any lame jokes. Okay, we're obviously accepting this challenge. And our first thought for a guest host would be a previous contest winner from season one named Hannah Dudzik. All right, I found her number. I'll call her. Hold on. Are you good tomorrow? Okay, Hannah and her dad are going to be here tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning. Really? Really. Yeah. Oh, well, it's yeah. four different challenges from four different people. Two were just straight up criticism of hate that we're turning into challenges. <laughs> Nuh uh. Yes. One says, I challenge you not to say any lame jokes for a whole Oh, hour. yeah, that's true. You think you can handle all this? Okay. Sure. It's, it's a lot of pressure. Because if we win everything, all four things, mm -hmm. then Terry has to go get a rectal exam. <laughs> and we want that to happen. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Are we catching crayfish? I don't know. Minnows? Anything. I'm Terry today. <laughs> I'm Hannah from Monongahela, PA. I'm the winner of the Bob's Bragging Boards photo contest. I submitted the muskie photo. I caught it in Erie Bay and I thought I was snagged. My dad submitted the photo and I didn't think I was going to win because there was a lot of good pictures in, but I was really happy. We're going to catch a cricket or a worm, it can be anything. Then we got to go catch a minnow or a crayfish, whatever, on the hook. That's if part of the gonna challenge. If we're going to catch a cricket what? with our hands, why don't we just go catch a crayfish? Because we're, we're not going to cheat. We're Remember, gonna it's easy. We're going to the challenge, it's not cheating. No, we got to catch... Technically, it, we are catching is, the crayfish. But the way that challenge was written, it's like... Dude, so, loopholes be all loopholes. Seriously. So let's cheat. It's not yeah. cheating. So let's cheat. It's not cheating. You're going to catch the cricket or crayfish no. or whatever. No. We're, yeah, we're arguing the, too much. we got to rig... Then right. you catch the fish with Why don't we catch right? a worm under that flower vase right there? Okay, here. Dan's the guide. <laughs> We're gonna catch us a worm right now. Come on, this is the easy part. We gotta find a worm. <laughs> Miss him. There we go. Two little ones. Well, you don't need to be big if we're just catching the bait fish. Yeah. I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I don't know Terry, but I'm planning on sending him to the doctor. <laughs> There's a worm. This is another one? Yeah. So we have to catch a bait fish and a fish with the same hook. And we have to use a little hook 
because we have to catch bait fish first. <laughs> it is time. This first part, as soon as we get going here, I don't think this is a lame joke. Might be. You decide. It's gonna seem like a car wash right here at first. This first part right here, look. That's beyond that. That's a stupid thing. Luckily, we got some worms, so we're headed to the creek. There's some minnows right there. Where? Right there. Right there. I don't have them. Oh, those are tiny. Oh, there's a bunch. And if we could knock it all out right here. That would be awesome. Okay. And it's pretty. There's a ton of minnows. Okay. It's all you. How am I doing this? We need to put our actual bait that we caught on there. How about it? Look at how little they... Oh my gosh. Look at that tiny little worm in there. Think you can do it? Um, I'm not sure. Re Usually my dad baits my hook and everything. <laughs> really? Yeah. Will this be a first? This would be a first. Will it? Baiting my own hook. Just pinch a little piece off that worm. Don't hurt him though. Worm ration. That's pretty disgusting. I don't even want to do that. <laughs> Just thread it on there. All right, that looks it's pretty good. Pretty good. I think so. Yeah. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Just drop it in there and see. <laughs> <laughs> like literally just drop when it in there. Question, ask the guide. That's why we brought him. Hmm. Just drop Where'd it. all the fish go? They all left. Where did they go? <laughs> oh there, there's one over there. There's We're one. At... Hold on. So which way? While I'm fishing, Dad's over there cool. flipping rocks and bring back yeah. crazy bugs. <laughs> Crane flies, salamanders. Yeah. Oh, that thing was a little. That was really long. Oh, oh, I had it too. So Larvae. <laughs> you see that? Oh, oh, crayfish. Yeah, the worm gone. Oh. Yeah, the worm is gone. Hook size is our yeah. biggest issue, and just like we thought. No. <laughs> what was that? Chum. Okay, we're. This hook is a little bit too big for the <laughs> minnows. Really the next one you get, swing them right toward Bree up on the bank as quick as you can. Get them. <gasps> get, yeah, get them in here. Get them on the wet <laughs> bank. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's a minnow. Yeah, <laughs> That's what we need. We need some water. Yeah, I gotta go get water. We need to take the. We gotta we catch need to take the, the bait out. See if you can find like another container to put the worms in. We weren't thinking. We need to put this sucker in water. I know. We're yeah, I'm trying to get the bait out. Worms. Somebody's gotta watch these. <laughs> Seriously, we can't let them get away because we gotta There's catch. One up here too. That's the fastest I've ever seen. In <laughs> After the first catch, I started catching them like crazy. Oh, have you ever caught a fish that small? <laughs> I don't think I have. Season two of Very Extreme is presented by Marquette Savings Bank, Fast Signs, We Create, The Avonia Tavern, FishingOnline.com, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and by Visit Erie. While Hannah's ripping them, I'm trying to catch up on PA Law. That's a bluegill. That'll work, though. Are we allowed to do that? Oh, I gotta check. I'm still looking up. I got <laughs> too caught up in the excitement. Okay. Just want to make sure I got this right, because I don't want to get any fines. If I go fishing and catch a bluegill, put it on a hook and use it for bait, am I breaking PA Law? It says as long as you catch them with a hook and a line, and they are in... These challenges happen so fast. Um, not a lot of time to think. We never know what we're doing. Um, but you got to stay in line. That is a rod and reel, oh. right? Danny, doesn't that cover us? Yeah, we're the catching them with a rod and reel. There you go, get them. <gasps> yes. That's a chug. That's perfect. <laughs> That's all right. Get one more. Get them. You got him. That's a goby. Dave's going to freak out when he sees that. <laughs> Gobies are a really cool little fish. Bass eat them, but we got to let them go. I just read the law book. It's like a nice size one. You guys wanted to make it easier. We made it harder and we're still doing it. <gasps> okay, that's it. <laughs> Is that it? I think this one, Hannah, Let's what do you think? Catch like one more. What do you want to do? One more is good. One more? Yeah, this is pretty entertaining. Better than putting a roof on? That was really Yeah. Easy. We got seven right now. Let me call my buddy Brad and see if we got a pond. We can They're too little, they're not hooking on. Brad has a pond in his backyard, doesn't he? You know. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Damn, put your face right here. This constitutes his lame jokes. Does it? Hannah?
I thought it was pretty funny. Ha. Thank you. I'm exactly where we need to put his face. Right here. Right there, Dad. Go. <laughs> Come on, it'll just knock the glasses off. Hello? Bradley. Can we drive all the way back to the pond still like we used to? Oh, yeah. Um, I know where that's at. Okay. We're, <laughs> We're set now. Let's go. Nice work. Are we forgetting something? Get a bait. We got nine bait fish, mostly bluegills. These should definitely work. So we got two options. We go out there for smallmouth or go to Brad's pond for largemouth. What do you want to do? I'd much rather catch a largemouth bass. Do we still need the guide? Let's just leave them here. Taking the boat to a pond. We just got done catching a bunch of... Bluegill. Now we're going to a pond that my buddy... Brad? ...told me about to catch... <laughs> a bass. We think we can do it, but we're not totally sure because we think the hook that we caught the bluegills and stuff on might be just a tad too... Small. There you have it. I know that I'd rather be catching little tiny bluegills than... Putting on a roof. We want to win all four of these challenges so that we get to see... But you've already lost them all. You've lost two of them. Oh, crap. <laughs> You're being a bubba. No, you don't. And you've done four bad, bad jokes, jokes at least. That, those are opinions. Those what are opinions. What did you think? What? Did you I didn't think they were cornier. I wouldn't have said them. I think it's all funny. Or I must disagree. I thought it was pretty funny. And here's the part of the show where you go back. Here's the part of the show where we get arrested for going 120 miles an hour. <laughs> I guarantee you it ain't gonna be my fault that we lost this challenge. She needs to catch a bass on a hook that's so small I can't yes, even see. Hey, Bradley. Hey. We're, we just turned on the cool road. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll see you there. All right, you'll see us. We'll be the only idiots with a wrap truck and boat heading back to the pond. I don't know where I'm going You're here. back here. I don't know which way. What way is I'd it? say that oh. way. I'm pretty sure it's going to be that way. Yeah. Anna, what do you think? We pull up to the pond, and it's looking really good. This should be easy. Everybody out. I haven't fished here in like... Last leg of the challenge. 35 years. Bradley. Jeez. Do you think we're breaking the rules doing this? Are you excited? Yeah. I don't think the um, the little hook's gonna work. Like I'm 99% positive. We'll never get a hook in them, ever. Hey Brad, right here? Out in the middle? Okay. You wanna try like a real little bluegill? Is that the smallest one? He's bigger American. than that. Yeah, but here's our problem. Get that yeah. Hook. Where am I casting this? into the shade over there on the other side of the tree. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. I thought you would have caught one by now. Yeah. Yeah, if I was a bass, I'd eat that all day long. I'm not feeling confident at all. Like, I don't even feel like there's a bass in this pond at the moment. Brad just literally brings lawn chairs out here with little kids and just throws bluegills out there and catches big giant bass. I say we go get Brad to take us to his old family pond. Perfect. That's a pretty sweet cast. <laughs> I think we're gonna relocate to Brad's old house. That's the only other thing that we can do that's not out of the way. What's our chances over at the uh, other house if we pull up there and just... How's it going, man? I think pretty good. People are real nice. We can... Do you want to go with us? No. You don't? You think we can actually get permission without you? Yeah. Hey, my best Again. friend used to live here. Take a right. We stocked it when we were kids. So I guess now Brad told us another place we're gonna go try a different one. I thought we were going to do a lot better than what we did because we didn't catch anything. You got a good feeling about this one? Yeah. you have any idea where we're going? No. Do you did... remember where your friend lived? I mean, I don't know. Uh, when I get there, yeah. Dude, we're talking 30 years ago. So if we go, sh I'm pretty, I know he said to go straight. Take a right. You going to be able to make that turn off with the boat trailer and do it? Don't know. I almost went in the ditch on this side. Oh, man. Let me get out. It's close. Yeah, it's real close. Okay. Here we go. Back the little tiny path. Because nothing's ever easy. <laughs> so crazy. Where's the pond? The pond used to be right up there. I think right there. The pond wouldn't move, would it? I'm just hoping for a real big dog. <laughs> he is afraid of dogs. Is he? Mm hmm. No, oh, totally. Dave and Danny walk up to this guy's house and I don't think it's going to happen. First, I want to say I like your shirt. 
Oh, thanks. Um, Bradley Sergener, who used to live here a long, long time ago. Oh, okay. My best friend. I was his best man at his wedding. Okay. My best friend. He told me you might let me fish your pond for a minute. Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, well, me and Brad were best friends, but we stocked the pond. Yeah, That's you're gonna catch one ten seconds after you throw it out there. So. Really? Ten seconds, the guy said. We'll catch one. Is that what he said? That's what he said. Right. Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry to intrude on you. Best friends, best man, best everything. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, kiddos, after you, ladies first. How you feeling now? Feeling pretty confident. I mean, he said ten seconds, so. <laughs> Did you hear him say that? <laughs> No, Ray told me. See over there? Let's go over there. Okay, let's get her done. Down with that? Yeah. It's gonna be interesting. Has it been 10 seconds yet? <laughs> I got that sinking feeling again. <gasps> there, there. No, no, no. You got him? Okay, now let's do he that came again. Off. Here's the deal. Go ahead and throw it back out there. Yeah, there you go. Now, when it bites it, open that. You know, open your bail. Can I wear your sweatshirt? <laughs> and just let them go. I mean, like, for a long time. We're just going to let them swim. We just got to hope it doesn't swim up into this wood and stuff. Okay, let it go. Open up, open up. And let it go. There it goes. Okay, keep your line tight. Let it tighten up. I can't believe there's actually something on. Uh-oh. What do you guys think? Go, go, just reel them in. Oh yeah, Dan, you gotta get it. That's a big one too. Remember, it's a little hook. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it got off, it got off. No! Oh. Oh, no. Okay. I'm in my hand. <laughs> it's just like. I know, but we gotta. Danny dropped the fish. Good job, Dan. No, that was a big bass. <laughs> I should have had him. But hey, it is what it is. He had one job. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's just throw it out there again and see what happens. Ooh. Yeah, dude, I'm going to need like a coat. I pulled on I mean, it's, 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 it's literally 49 degrees. It's getting windier and colder, but I'm still pretty confident that we're going to get a fish. I know, that's I had him in my hand. I was trying not to fall in the water. At least we know there's actual fish in the pond you know that was a big one yeah. too that stupid little hook's gonna kill us hannah try bringing it a tiny little bit closer to shore right there i got a feeling you're gonna get a bite pretty quick here there it's got it all right where am i gonna get it yeah there it goes how long should we let it it's gotta have it no it's gotta have it. okay Fast. then go ahead and tighten up hard, right? no just, just pull into it you got it you got it she's still got it hurry Attention, dan yeah. okay you got him Pop. It got off? It broke, I think. It broke my it line. Broke, 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 no, I don't think it... It started taking dragging, it broke the line. Yeah, <sighs> it was taking dragging and snapping. Okay. Same hook. Retied. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, reel it a couple feet toward us a little bit. A little bit more. Right there. Right there. There. There he goes. Open. It's open. It's open. <laughs> it's open. It's open. <laughs> It's open. <laughs> it's going that how, how long? Okay, just close it. Yeah, I would let close it, it and close then it. when he tightens it up, let me let me get it untangled for you. Okay, here, you're you're untangled. You gotta have it now. Whoops, sorry. Tighten him up, man. What? No. Are you kidding me? He might have. Did he He's got the bang? Yeah. Oh. Really? How? We're dialed in now. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Is this fun? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. Should I wait? Like, yes, open my wait. Thing? I have I say tighten it. Open. Go ahead and tighten it. Go. Right yeah. now? Go, yeah. Is it on there? Yeah, it's something on there. Reel it, reel it faster. You got him. Get it, off. Something came off. Yeah. Are you kidding me right now? I don't know what else to do. I say she waits like three seconds next time and then just reel that a little bit. Oh. oh. Oh, there's one. Should I go yeah. now? Yeah. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. Got him? Yeah. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. No pressure, but you catch it. Danny, don't you miss this one. If you're out, I'll go high. Good job, good job. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> It feels Whoa. so good to finally catch one. Oh my gosh, it's got to be legal. <laughs> Even though it was the smallest fish of the day. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It didn't say that. 
Yeah, it does. I think it's Dude, sad. look at this. This is awesome. Frog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Terry, enjoy your rectal examination. <laughs> I would like to thank my dad for submitting the picture and Dave, Bree, and Danny for this wonderful experience. I didn't think we were going to be able to do it. I like that it was hard. You know, this four-part mega challenge was a lot of fun. So thanks to all the challengers, even you haters. Um, can we take the boat out on your pond and go at least 70 miles per hour? <laughs> well, I think that was a yes. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. This experience is definitely one to remember. Terry, I hope you enjoy your experience. Best man? No, I made that part up. Really? Did we win? Was Hannah a stupid bubba? What? Uh, did I tell any lame jokes? Was the bass a keeper? Did we catch it on the same hook? Technically. Um, who cares? Just don't. To keep up with Erie Extreme, like us and subscribe.